what is happening motivators it is your boy motivated carter coming to another video so today's video is going to be it's going to be it's going to be a relatively short one i just want to talk about my thoughts on the recent curfew uh curfews that they've been putting up in certain cities i just want to quickly point out like what my thoughts on it is like how i personally feel about it now I, like i said before you know not everyone shares my opinions and that's yeah, completely fine because everyone is right to, is entitled to their own pain because, you know, it's a free country and, uh, you know, First Amendment rights. But quick, get right into it. So I got to adjust right here. Uh, foot kind of hurts. So my thoughts on the curfew is that uh, um, I'm just going to be straight up and honest and say I don't really think the curfews are really even necessary. Like I get I get that they're, the, my, like the uh, mindset is, okay, if we put curfews up, it's so that we can stop, uh, you know, the looting and the burnings and stuff. But at the same time, it kind of feels like we had COVID-19 since January all the way up to now. And now we're at 100,000 plus deaths and still rising of COVID uh, cases and deaths. But, and there's never been no curfew. But George Floyd gets killed two weeks ago. And a week, of pro a week and a half of protesting, there's curfews in Atlanta. Uh, I I know Atlanta is one of them. Uh, Minneapolis for sure, and um, uh, I think uh, Los Angeles. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, like I think I know it's somewhere in California. But yeah, curfews in three cities. And I know there's probably more, but I haven't pointed all of it out yet. And oh oh, and Jacksonville, and Jacksonville, Florida, because my friend showed me you know a picture that saying that she got an alert saying hey, is emergency alert uh, curfews in effect at 8, 8 p.m. And I'm like wow. My opinion. There shouldn't be no curfews at all because if the government couldn't put up a curfew, um, God, my eyes are itching. If there couldn't be no curfews put up for when COVID was first starting off, because I believe if it was COVID, if it was like you know curfews put up when COVID was just like you know okay a couple cases like here and there, like I guarantee that there probably be less deaths in the U.S. alone and less COVID uh, cases because. Because, uh, you know, if we're told that, okay, we can't, we have curfew at this time, there would be a lot less people and we wouldn't be the country with the most deaths from COVID. Like, look at other countries. They put in uh, curfews into in effect, like, the second it hit the countries. And that's why they have less cases than we do and less deaths than we do. Because they took very seriously, real quick, fast, in a hurry, that we need to stop the spread of it and we need to stop deaths from it. Because if we, the second we do that, it's a likelihood that we don't have to worry about you know, it getting to a point where it's catastrophe. But now we got this pro now we got protesters and all we got protests and all from what the officers did to um George Floyd and then we're also also looking at all the police brutality incidents of all the black people who were killed. Now we got curfews here and there because of the protests. And then you got people getting hurt in these protests and you got you got like you, like if you've seen the picture of Robert Bulls do up close and like you see that this this is not this is not no isolated instance. This is just okay. Like you're telling people, okay, they can't do what our First Amendment right says: right to freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of assembly. And we're doing all that. We got tear gas, uh, police in riot gear, sh uh, riot, riot gear, riot shields, and then rubber bullets, and then all that attacking 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 people for holding up sign. And like, or yeah, some people driving through people who are just protesting for what. Like, me, personally, I, I was driving in Norfolk, uh, got in Virginia, drove around Norfolk. I saw people protesting there. I didn't drive, I didn't drive my Camaro through, through them. Why did was, I just said, okay, you know what? Let these people do what they got to do because it's freedom of assembly and freedom of speech. This is what we, it's the First Amendment rights because, you know, that's that's the First Amendment right. And I am in the, I work for the military, so there's some rights I defend. So I just said, you know what? I know, I know Virginia, like, back of my hand. I just went, I just went completely around. Yes, I lost gas and time, but okay, I didn't drive no people, and I'm not going to jail for no stupidity. And I'm just, and I'm just at the point now where I'm like, who's really, who's really, what, what, what are we like? What, what part of our country are we actually promising? What, what, what's our promises going if we're, if we're like having these um, restrictions out for people protesting? Or I get arrested for holding up a sign, or I get tear gas thrown at me for throwing at me for holding up a sign, or I get real bullets shot in my forehead for that. I just don't understand it. And for the people out there protesting, I am with you one hundred percent. Like peaceful protest needs to happen. A change needs to happen. A change for the better, not for the worse. 
these of all people that who have killed these innocent black people for no reason need, need they need they need to face punishment for their crimes. A justice needs to happen. A change needs to happen. And I do believe with all this happening, a change will ha- a change will come. As you've seen, it's not just in the U.S. no more. It's worldwide now. Now it's worldwide where people are saying that okay, justice needs to be served. And that that to me proves that okay, if people in other countries who could care less about what's going on internally, internally here, it's now proves that proves that okay, we need some something a change needs to happen like now. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm becoming a revolutionary or I'm saying, you know, F the government, F the Marine Corps. No, this is not sponsored by any of those. This ain't sponsored by Marines or anything. This is just my personal opinions. And I know I might get in trouble for this video because I have to, because my opinion. But at the end of the day, I have the, I have the right to force my own opinions and my own, my own, my own uh, facts, my own morals. And I'm going to say, point blank, that a change needs to happen, that that these curfews need to be lifted and that people just need to get on, people need to like just step out of the way and join them instead of, instead of proving us exactly why we're, why we're protesting and like change, change the rules. And that's all I got. I mean, if you, if anyone else has a different opinion or they, or they have like a, or they want to like, you know, say, Hey, you know what? Sorry, F all that S F all that shit you're saying. And you know, just like let it ride. Like that's fine. Cause like, everyone, like I said, everyone's had their opinion. I don't, I don't, I don't tell people, okay, just believe me because I'm doing this or to us believe me because I'm doing that. I just say, hey, you know what? You have the right to forge your own pain. It's a free country. And for those protesting, like I said before, I am with you 100%. I don't condone looting. I don't, I don't condone the, uh, the riots. I don't condone the, fi- the fires. But I, but I will condone, but I will condone protesting because, hey, we, hey, like, like, like they said somewhere in the Constitution, like if they ever felt like our government was, um, at a point where we need, where it needs to be a change, people have the right to, you know, protest against our government, and they can demand a government needs to be a, a government. Our government needs to change. I know it's somewhere in the Constitution because I remember studying in school years ago. Yeah, <laughs> five years ago I remember studying something like that, and it says that legally we can we can rise up and say, hey, we need we need to change this government like today. Now I'm not saying revolutionary. I'm not being revolutionary. I'm not saying okay, let's get guns and go up to the White House and start. Oh, sorry, war. But I'm saying that these protests are just uh, are are a testament to that we need to change. We need to change our government. And that's all I got on that subject. And um, I hope everyone has a good day. And for those protesting, please be safe. Uh, do and if you and if you feel like your life is ever in danger, do it do it on the side. And remember, COVID is still a thing right now. Wear wear your mask. Be be safe and uh, be humble. God bless all of you. And uh, my condolences go out to the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, and uh, every other black person who's been killed by police brutality or just racism. And my heart goes out to all you subscribers because you guys are just awesome people. My heart goes out to everyone's country. And God bless you all. This is Movey Carter, and I'm out. Peace.